we will now have no. dueling accordions, Vito DePinto and Fred Wilkins. be a duet, however, um, due to lack of practice, would somebody please bring me a chair? Where's a little stool, Fred? <laughs> it's important to know <laughs> that Vito, I'm Fred, I realized that the accordion that I am sharing with you was traded for 1931 Oakland in 1936. In 1936, I began lessons on the North Clark Street. I, I was, uh, thank you, it's by, I, this came by way of my dad who traded in a 1931 Oakland and in 1936 or so, I began lessons. I couldn't lift it. <laughs> but as it turned out, by 1937, I was part of a 92-piece accordion band. <laughs> Along in that period, I also performed a song solo at the Kimball Hall down on Wabash Avenue in Chicago. <laughs> Actually, I remember the name of the song, but I've forgotten it, how to play it, among other things. And the song was, When I Grow Too Old to Dream. In terms of the accordion school, I was the before, and he's the kind of after you get. You always remain seated when you play the accordion because as a stomach Steinway, I now have the stomach for it. <laughs> Arming this thing takes a while. If I take enough time, it'll be all over. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'd really like to have the 31 Oakland back. Had my wife known I had one at all, I wouldn't be presently married to whoever it is. And it's it's very interesting is my wife says the same thing. We're not allowed to play the accordion while they're in the home. There was legislation in the late 30s that banned the accordion. Uh, and uh, now, for your reading pleasure, a cathartic new group, the DFQ. 